The R91 is an assault rifle manufactured by civilian defense contractor Sten Security Solutions. The R series of assault rifles was used reliably following the discontinuation of the M series in the 21st century. Chambered for 5.56mm ammunition, the R91 full auto urban assault rifle is common throughout the Capital Wasteland. The weapon was used by troops on the Anchorage Front and served as the National Guard's standard issue rifle during urban pacification operations, who were fully deployed in Washington, D.C. at the time of the Great War. As a result, despite the war having taken place almost two centuries ago, the R91 can be found commonly throughout the ruins of Washington, D.C. Currently utilized by slavers and raiders, as well as sold by legitimate traders and arms dealers. Like any firearm, the R91's effectiveness and accuracy will suffer without regular maintenance. The R91 is a general purpose automatic firearm, effective from short to medium range. However, the high spread and low damage per shot greatly reduce its effectiveness against targets at longer range or hard targets like giant rad scorpions. Nevertheless, it remains a lightweight, hard hitting weapon for low to mid level small guns users. Condition degrades at a moderate pace. Poor condition assault rifles are sold by many vendors across the wasteland and are often found in raider camps, buildings, and metro tunnels. There are several notable unique variants of the R91. The Infiltrator is a silenced and scoped assault rifle. Its appearance consists of a black paint finish, a scope, and is basically a shortened and stockless variant of the R91 assault rifle that was standard issue for the National Guard at the time of the Great War. Similar to the R91, the Infiltrator fires 5.56 rounds and utilizes a 24 round magazine. However, its magazine is noticeably larger in size than the standard R91. Despite its scope, the Infiltrator still suffers from the typical inaccuracy of assault rifles at long range combat, limiting its suitability for only short and mid range combat. It is one of the favorite weapons of the Pit Raiders in the Pit. And in 2281, Mick is known for having one in the collection of his secret arsenal in Freeside. Although appearing on the wall of Mick's secret inventory, it is a non-interactable mesh, and simply acts as a decoration. But its presence would indicate that the R91 and its derivatives could exist in the region, albeit in very limited quantities. The Perforator is a unique infiltrator. It has the same appearance as the standard infiltrator. It does more damage per shot has a higher DPS, critical chance, and critical damage, but a higher AP cost and significantly less durability. The Perforator has a reduced rate of fire. It fires two shots for every three shots that the Infiltrator can fire, and has reduced spread, which makes the rifle functionally more accurate over a longer distance. This gun is equipped with a suppressor making it silent. Although the Perforator is a unique Infiltrator, it cannot be repaired with infiltrators, but can be repaired with assault rifles. This weapon fires two shots in vats, as opposed to the ordinary assault rifle that shoots three shots. This weapon is a reward for turning in 90 ingots to Everett from the steel mill yard. Wanda is a weapon that exists in the game files of Fallout 3, and can only be obtained through the use of console commands on the PC version. The weapon is also featured heavily in the Operation Anchorage DLC, and actually has its own unique, cleaner textured version. It may have been intended to be a reward in the armory that you gain access to after finishing the DLC, but it was never implemented. Although not actually featured in the game, art resembling the R91 can be found on Commando perk cards and the Commonwealth Weaponry sign in Diamond City. The perk art was carried over to Fallout 76 and several promotional art pieces have featured the R91 despite it not being accessible in the game yet. A new and updated version of the R91 can be found as a skin for the handmade rifle in the files of Fallout 76. They were added with the Wastelanders update but have yet to be implemented. Along with the Auto Axe, this weapon may be added with the future Expedition to the Pit coming in 2022, but this is just speculation at this point. I have a replacer mod for PC users in the description if anyone is interested. The R91's design was based on early models of the HK G3, but is chambered in 5.56 instead of 7.62. Developed in the 1950s, this service weapon and its many derivatives would see extensive use by many nations and agencies, and would be part in many conflicts, spanning decades. 
A heavy hitting, modular, select fire weapon, it was a great choice to have as one of the main weapons in Fallout 3. If you enjoyed this video, please consider giving it a like and subscribing for more. If you do, Todd will give you your R91. If you don't, then it will forever remain in the game's files, never to be implemented.